Hey, Russ, good to see you. Welcome to Kansas State. Appreciate it. Um, can you walk here. me? Yeah. Can you walk me through how uh, you ended up on Kansas State's radar and how they ended up on yours? How you ended up in Manhattan? Oh, uh, it was a it was a crazy process for me going through the transfer portal, and uh, we just kind of matched interest and just came together and uh, felt like it's a good opportunity for me and both the program just coming here trying to make the program better and um, push it to the next level. The uh, transfer market is obviously a much bigger deal now than it was like five years ago. But how, how would you compare the way you recruited this time to the way things were coming out of high school? How different was it? Um, it's a lot different from being recruited in high school because uh, when you're going through the portal, you're, you're already in college. So you already know how things work and um, you're looking for the best, the best possible situation for you and the best possible situation for the program you're going to. Um, in college, I mean, at coming out of high school, it's more you're just guessing. Um, so that's the really main difference. And you have to go somewhere where you feel like you're going to be, be able to make a change. What kind of impact do you envision yourself making on this defense uh, next season? Uh, I see myself just coming in and being a player that can make some plays in, in multiple different roles. Um, just do my best to make the team better on defense. Uh, defense, I feel like, is not far away from being pretty good. Uh, that's what I was watching when I was researching the program, which I'm trying to make a decision. So I just want to be a guy that can step in and be a leader. All right. Thanks, Reese. Appreciate it. Go ahead, Derek. Hey, Russ, you and uh, Julius are both from Indianapolis, and then uh, they picked up James Gilbert, you know, a season ago. He was from Indianapolis as a graduate transfer, too. Is there, is there a particular connection with some of you Indianapolis guys with this coaching staff? Uh, I wouldn't really say there's connection. I think, I think it's just kind of the luck of the draw. We all kind of communicated with each other. I know me and Julius Brents, we communicated, each other, communicated with each other about kind of coming here and trying to trying to make an impact. So um, I think Coach uh, Klanderman and Coach Kleiman, they just doing a, doing a really good job trying to find us and giving us good opportunities. What's your first impression of the school been? I know you probably had to go there and quarantine and everything, but uh, just your first impressions of Kansas State since you probably weren't able to go there beforehand. Uh, my, my first impression is it's, it's a really good place. Uh, there's extremely good people here, and there's a lot of support for the program. Uh, football is first, and, and that's some things that I really like about the program. I, I'm just mainly excited about the people that I'm around. I know you talked about playing different roles probably in the secondary, but is the impression for you to play safety at Kansas State? Yes, sir. I plan to play safety. All right. Thank you. John? Yeah, Russ, as it relates to, to play and safety, what do you feel like are, are your biggest strengths uh, for someone that hasn't seen you play? Uh, I think my biggest strength as a safety is being a guy that can cover, uh, being a former corner. I think my covering ability is, is pretty good. And I think I'm a pretty good tackler. Um, I have good knowledge for the game, so um, I have to learn this defense and, and learn it well enough so that way I can be a good communicator and get, help everybody else on the field be better. What went into the process of just deciding that you did want to, to leave uh, Louisville and, and find a new home? Um, a lot went into that process. It was just ultimately just me trying to make the best decision for me. And I feel like being in Kansas State now is the best place for me. And I, I think it's going to be a really good decision for me. I appreciate it, Russ. Thanks, man. Ryan Black. Sorry about that, Russ. I had to get my, my video turned back on. Uh, I was curious how uh, – because he tweeted about it right after you you announced you were going to transfer to, to K-State. How key was it talking with Harry Trotter through this before you got to Kansas State? Oh, Harry, Harry, he was a big factor. I, I communicated with him multiple times just because obviously you can't take visits during this – um, virus situation. So yeah, I just kind of reached out to him to kind of see what the vibe was like out here and, and how, how things kind of work so I can get a, a secondhand opinion because you hear one thing from the coaches and, and you can hear another thing from, yeah. 
from the players and other people. And Chada, he was – everything that he said was spot on with what the coaches were saying. And he he uh, talked good about the culture of the program and all different things. And, and he's a person that I could trust. So I knew it was going to be a good situation. How, how close were you guys at Louisville? Were you just kind of like teammates who knew each other or were you guys actually really close friends? Uh, we were pretty good friends at Louisville. We used to hang out all the time. So I had a really good relationship with Trotta. How how close can you come to benching what he can? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Trotter's a freak in the weight room, so I don't know how close I can get to him. And, and then I guess my last thing, Russ, uh, how big of a factor? Because, you know, when people look at who ended up, you know, transferring out and who's graduating from K-State, you know, they, they were hit really hard in the secondary. So how much of the factor for you was like, hey, I ought to be able to come in and hopefully play a lot from from day one? Um, obviously that that's my goal my goal mm -hmm. is to be here and make an impact um I really didn't really pay too much attention to who all transferred by names and stuff like that but I knew that there was opportunity and I just see it as a place for opportunity for me and not only just myself but just opportunity to make this team better and, and last thing for me I mean obviously K-State has always been really good in the return game. Um, has there been any talk that you'll and, – and you obviously did some at Louisville. Has there been any talk that you'll try to get your hands on the ball, kick return, things like that? Oh, yeah, that's that's another one of my goals. Obviously, I have to go out there and prove to the coaching staff and, and everyone else that I can do things like that. But that is another goal of mine is to get in the return game and have the ball in my hand.